They lined up before dawn, hundreds of people with hundreds of reasons to seek free medical care. Charlia Williams lost her job. In the process of lo losing my job, I lost all my medical and dental. Josh McGrew works but can't afford health insurance. I'm here to get some teeth pulled. Elizabeth Valencia needs extensive dental work. Um, it's just not affordable <laughs> at all for me. So. so they, like people in need from around Los Angeles, everybody make one single line. Poured into LA sports arena for physical exams, eye exams, glasses, screenings, tests, and dental work. 300 medical volunteers serving 1,200 patients a day for the next week. All free, all thanks to Stan Brock. Gosh, you know, there really is a problem here in the United States. It's not just in the Amazon and places like Haiti. Brock started remote area medical 25 years ago, getting American doctors to volunteer and bring modern medicine to the third world. Today, 64% of everything we do is here in America. His first L.A. clinic last year, his largest ever, served 6,334 patients. He expects 2,000 more this year. We've got middle class people here. We have a lot of working poor here. People rock by recession, and mandatory health care reform doesn't kick in for four years. So meanwhile, do we tell the patients to wait? We can't. And even with health reform, the most affordable plan won't cover adult vision or dental care. But today, a happy ending. Daisy Glover got a chip tooth repaired to go on a job interview. Oh, yes. That is. These chairs have been filled all day. This goes on from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. for seven days. Katie? Bill Whitaker reporting from Los Angeles. Thank you, Bill.